according to my research, um, the, uh, the private companies are more efficient. Uh, definitely, they have higher return on capital, right? They are, they are uh, much more efficient in terms of using all kinds of resources. Uh, for example, money, uh, you know, sort of uh, land, uh, people. On average, they have much higher a rate of return. In 2017 and uh, 2018, there's a tremendous sort of drive to deleverage in China. The private company got hit very hard. As a result, their investment uh, in sort of uh, really was dropping in those two years very fast. But this trend kind of got reversed uh, in the early uh, 2019. The private business starts to sort of invest again. They're basically fully de delevered. Now they, they, they have more room to grow. Uh, but the recent, uh, you know, the, the last year's pickup, it's really due to, I think, two reasons. One is the, the control of the pandemic, right? Uh, the other one is, uh, is actually the private company because they experienced tremendous deleveraging uh, in the years before. By the early 2019, actually, uh, if you look at the, the, the investments by private companies, it's completely driven by internal, internally generated cash. So they basically no longer rely on externally uh, funded uh, cash. Once the pandemic is there, the government is trying to stimulate the economy, right? At the, so, so the private company also get money, right, from the fin financial system. So that's why they, they start to expand again, because they're more efficient and they are, they are more aggressive for growth. The SOEs, they're normally pretty steady, right? They don't really move that much. So, so the private companies are really, I would say, they're they really the driver, the, the, the engine of the Chinese growth, yeah.